video for 3.3 positioning spacer. Kind of give you guys an idea how I started. Um, make sure, again, make sure you got all your layer, layers center, dimensions, hidden, and object. That's pretty much all we need right now. Um, what I did, I started out right here with the two circles at the bottom, which are one and a quarter diameter and one and a quarter radius. So I created those two, went to my center layer, created a line up 60 degrees, created another line over here, 45. AutoCAD reads from this line, so the angle coming over might be 135, but that's the same thing. And then I created a center line circle at 6 radius. And where they intersect, I put a 1 inch diameter hole here and there. And make sure you have dynamic input turned on right there. To that, I kind of did a little bit of trimming and I added the other circles here. These two, along with those. And what I did, I came here and got a line command and make sure you go here, tools, toolbar, AutoCAD, and check geometric constraints and object snap. Make sure you got both of those here. And I just went to line, snap the tangent, chose this circle, snap the tangent, chose that circle, got this line here, and then offset it 0.75. All right. To create these fillets here, I just want you got to go to fillet, and if you look down here, it, you got to answer a few questions. Just type in. See how the first letter is highlighted blue? We want radius, so I just okay. I'm back. Uh, what we want to do here is we want a radius. So just you would just type in R. And I've already inputted a half inch, so whatever you need, that's what you would put here, and it's a half inch, so you would hit enter with there, and then you would come and select this circle and this line, and it would create that fillet here. Same thing, select line and this circle, and it'll create that fillet. So that's how we get those on the inside going around. Okay, to get this arc we need here, we're going to go to circle, tangent, tangent, radius. And all you do is select tangent, tangent, radius, click this circle, that circle, and put in a radius of 2.5. Then all you have to do is trim it. And you'll get this. And then offset it it's three quarters of an inch here. Just go to offset three quarters, I'll click this line, I'll set it back here, go back to fill it, and it's already set, defaulted at half inch, all you got to do is select this circle, and this line, and you'll get that fillet, same thing here. You may have to redraw a portion of this circle, but that's not a problem. Um, I also got, s got another circle, came to this center right here, and just went all the way out tangent to this to this circle or that one, it doesn't matter. And then offset it three quarters of an inch. Once you have that, you just come here, trim those off, go back to fill it. You're gonna fill it these in. Right here, right there. And 
basically that's it to get the part. Uh, let me see if it will. I'll show you how to put that circle back. Okay, that's good. See how it takes that out? All you have to do is just go back to circle, go up to here, to the end of that line. Oh, let me back up. Circle. Come in real close and make sure you get there. Then when you go to trim, just choose this line, that line, and it'll put that back for you. Then all you have to do is match properties. Simple as that. You may have to do a little trimming here. Same thing here. And once you have all of that, come up and create two lines here and there, a quarter inch apart. And this gets a lot, a li little bit messy, but there's a lot of hidden lines here. Just transfer everything off, trim it off. And when you get through, you can kind of look at this. Just trim everything off, get your three views here. And again, because these are round surfaces, we don't really need an overall height here. So go to Create Block 3.3. Go to your Title Block. Highlight this. Delete it. Go to Insert. That's a little bit too big. I'm going to try 0.75. A little bit too big. Let's try 0.5. Drop that in. Material. Fill in the title block. Turn it in as 3.3.